beautiful. Sad. I'm so sorry you couldn't attend. It's his own fault that he couldn't honor grandfather. Okay, Ned. We get it. AJ's under house arrest. The judge was so sure he'd jump bail that he wouldn't even let him go to a church. Because your mother manipulated him. Oh, amazing. Even when he's wearing an ankle monitor, it's still never Junior's fault. What would you have done if you heard Brooklyn was hurt? Would an ankle monitor have stopped you, Ned? I would have sent somebody, and then I would have asked the police to take me to the hospital. You know, why bother Sky? I mean, Ned's a paragon. He never makes any mistakes. AJ was just trying to be a father to his son. I'm sorry, do you guys remember what we're doing here? We're about to bury great-grandfather. Think of Tracy can stop fighting and so can the rest of us. Dana seeing you so sad at the funeral today. I know you're already missing your granddad. Thinking of you lot. Love, Star. I think we should give Tracy some time alone. She's grieving. Well, what she is is quiet, and God knows how long that will last. So let's enjoy the peace. Are you okay? Miss Quartermain, it's time. I can't believe I have to say goodbye to myself. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious unto him and give him peace. Amen. I wasn't able to speak at my grandfather's funeral. I'd like to say a few words now. I don't think it's any big surprise that I was um, a disappointment to grandfather. As his death changes all of us, my own death has changed me. And I promised myself that if I ever came back to my family, that I would become the man that I always should have been. I'm going to make you proud this time, Grandfather. I just wish you were here to see it. here to read Mr. Q's will. Thank you, Alice. I would just like to extend my condolences to the entire family. You drew up Daddy's will? Mr. Quartermain had a great deal of respect for my legal expertise. Why not one of the lawyers from ELQ? There were concerns about objectivity. Objectivity? You're AJ's lawyer. That is a blatant conflict of interest. I drew up this will well before I was retired. I want a different age. lawyer. Too bad. Edward wanted Miss Miller. She's going to read the will. Thank you so much, Monica. Mm -hmm. Now that that's settled... Okay, everyone, well, let's yeah. gather around. Have a seat. Come on. Well, if you're going to read the damn thing, read it. I, Edward Lewis Quartermain... Oh, please, skip the formalities. Just get to the part where Daddy's last wishes for me and his many progenies. <sighs> to my living grandchildren. Grandchildren? What about his children? I'm just reading what it says here, Tracy. Oh, you know what, you're right, Daddy. Always complained about my lack of patience, and even in death, he's keeping me waiting. To my living grandchildren. And according to my list, these are Sky Chandler Quartermain. How does Sky count? She wasn't Alan's biological child. Alan legally adopted Skye, so she counts. Skye Chandler Quartermain. Jason Morgan. Jason Morgan is dead. Jason is missing. His body has not been recovered. Oh, and so you're going to pretend that he still walks among us so that his widow can inherit what's rightfully mine. For heaven's sakes, Tracy, Diane is not maneuvering anything so Sam can have Jason's inheritance. You are so naive. Moving on. 
guy, Jason. Ned Ashton. What? Ned Ashton? It isn't even the same last name. Go on. Dylan Quartermain Hornsby. Any objections? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Right. Two my living grandchildren. I bequeath. What uh, about AJ? AJ was not alive when Edward drafted this will. Well, he's obviously alive now. Edward did say living grandchildren. You're absolutely right, Monica. AJ is alive. Again. So obviously the law applies to him. To my living grandchildren, I bequeath to each one of you 12% of my shares of ELQ. But that's 60%. Once again, arithmetic wins the day. Now, if I may be allowed to continue. So I'm left with 40%. They are the major shareholders. How did Daddy do this to me? Tracy, I haven't even finished reading the will yet. I'm not even close. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I'm sure Daddy has my best interest in mind. Ladies and gentlemen, family and guests, the caterer would like me to let you know that lunch is now served in the dining room. Thank you, Alice. Diane, could you move it along, please? We're all feeling a bit peckish. To my living great-grandchildren. Great-grandchildren? Seriously? My award. She counts? Shut up, Tracy. Lila Ray Alcazar. Lila Shut Ray? Shut up, Tracy. Michael Corinthos III. Michael, there is no way that he counts. Sonny is legally his father. Sonny raised him. AJ was never, ever a father to Michael. I can assure you that even though Michael was raised by Sonny, he still counts. Right. Brooklyn Ashton, Daniel Edward Morgan. How much did Jason pay you? You were doing backflips to make sure Sam and that baby inherit. To my living great-grandchildren, I bequeath each of you 6% of my shares of ELQ. That's 30%. I'm left with 10%. How could Daddy do this to me? As for my remaining ELQ shares, I bequeath 5% to my loyal daughter-in-law, Monica. What? I had to share my 10% with her? I share my house with you. And finally, I bequeath 5% to the woman who's been most faithful to me. Oh, Daddy. A woman uh, whose loving attention to me made my days since Lila's death bearable. A woman I've cherished all these years for her constancy, her steadfast support, her honesty, and her plain, old-fashioned good sense. Alice Gunderson. What? <gasps> Me? <laughs> I, I would just rather have five more years with Mr. Q than that 5%. Oh, no. Daddy left me nothing? Nothing? He must have left you something. Diane, uh, what about his cash? His uh, material possessions? You're absolutely right. I forgot. I, that was just the shares. He was uh, loaded. I'm sure he left me everything else. All of my cash holdings, my bonds, my portfolio, and all of my material possessions, I leave to be divided equally. 50% to Habitat for Humanity. 50% to Charity? It's a worthy charity. Even you know that, Tracy. And the other 50% to PBS. Public Broadcasting System? I guess Mr. Quartermain preferred Big Bird to Oscar the Grouch. That's it? You've read the entire will? I have. Well, then, I suggest we go and enjoy lunch in Edward's honor, shall we? Coming, Tracy? Mother, are you okay? Yes, dear, I'm fine. Why don't you go in and have some lunch? I'm sure you're starving. You sure? Yes, would you save me some red meat? The bloodier, the better. I don't believe this for a minute. I can assure you that will is airtight. There has to be a mistake in this piece of trash document that you drew up. Not one mention to me. Not one. How can that be? Actually, there was one more thing. What's this? 
Oh, I have no idea. Your father left explicit instructions that it be given to you. Well, then it must be something wonderful. 